I'm beyond honored to welcome you to this interview to be exposed to a genius. That word is thrown around too loosely, too often, but this applies for real, for real, to the incredibly gifted and brilliant community servant. God's hand is on. Dr. Oh my God, Hadia Nicole Green, I am so honored. I heard about you on Karen Hunter's show, and I was listening. I'm saying, my God, this sister is just absolutely doing it. And so I'm just going to add, I just want you to talk because you have something that the world is desperately in need of. And so when I think of, you know, George Washington Carver, when I think of all of the great giants of history, you are standing on their shoulders, and they are saluting you from eternity. So please tell us. Uh, just a little something, first of all, about who you are and how you came to decide, okay, I'm going to use my genius to basically bring about a cure for cancer. So I ask myself, if a satellite in outer space can tell whether a dime on the ground is face up or face down, and a cell phone can call anywhere on the planet, even a room full of people, and target just one cell phone, oh my God. why can't cancer treatments treat cancer at the site of the tumor? and not have your hair fall out mm -hmm. and your skin turn like um, barbecue looking and, and why, why all these side effects? It didn't make sense to me as a physicist. And I said, well, maybe I can bring about a change in how cancer is treated. Maybe we can use that technology from cell phones and satellites to target and pinpoint cancer the way they target and pinpoint cell phones and images. Yeah. Why not? So that was the divinely inspired idea. Wow. And I simply closed my eyes, prayed about it, and God revealed it to me in a download. And I took notes, and I'm simply just a vessel. I'm very humble about, I'm just a vessel, hmm. bringing about this new way of treating cancer. Hmm. I'm careful about calling it a cure, because okay. I know it makes people nervous. Of course. I'm not trying to pick a fight with the pharmaceutical industry. Just little old me. Yeah. I just want to say to people, chem chem chemotherapy and radiation can't help. Yeah. There are nearly 9 million people a year who die from cancer around the world. Mm. I've been blessed and fortunate to get three degrees in physics with no student loans. Wow. Not a dollar. Hallelujah. And I know that's a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. Being a motherless, fatherless child and going through college with no student loans, God made up for what I thought was lack yeah. and positioned me uniquely at this time in history to do this work through a nonprofit. And I don't take salary from donations. I have a day job at Morehouse School of Medicine in the Department of Surgery yeah. as a professor. And I got a million dollar grant for five years from the Department of Veteran Affairs. So I have government funding to support my salary. Awesome. So I started this nonprofit, the Ora Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation that I named after my beloved aunt who inspired my research. Yeah. Our mission is to change the way cancer is treated and reduce cancer patients' suffering yeah. by providing care that is affordable, accessible, and effective. Mm. And instead of raising money for hope and awareness, we're hopeful, we are aware, it's a new day and a new age. Mm. We need to kill cancer. Come on. And we are about the business of killing cancer. Yeah. So the technology I developed uses lasers and nanoparticles, which most people don't even know what a nanoparticle is. Right, right. God showed me how to develop one so unique and so special that these little bitty tiny particles, and God said little things can be mighty. You better say it. And I was like, you know what, I don't care if I'm short. <laughs> Because little things can be mighty That's like right. nanoparticles. Right. Right. So these little bitty particles, they activate when I shine a laser on them. If you don't shine a laser on them, they don't do anything. Hmm. The laser by itself is like a laser pointer, lower power than a laser pointer. Hmm. By itself, it's harmless. Hmm. Only when the laser and the nanoparticle meet, they heat up and they vibrate and they get so hot, they kill the cancer. Wow. This thermal ablation, it's like, it's not chemo. It's not radiation. It's not surgery. It's a little injection with a little light. Mm. And I was like, this little light of mine. Come on, come on. I'm going to let, let it shine. shine. And this is the revelation. Yeah. Using something tiny 
and a little light wow. to kill cancer and heal the people. Wow. And I said, wow. When I prayed for God to use me and let my walk be Christ-like, I didn't know my assignment would be to heal. Mm. And people don't understand when I'm turning down offers from investors. If I gave you $100 million right now, will you sell it to me? It's not for sale. Thank you. Thank you. This is too important for Thank the generations you. to come. This is too important for my brothers and sisters who live in third world countries. Yeah. Who, in developing countries, I should say. Good. Yes, in Africa, in the yeah. Caribbean. And even those in rural parts of the United States in Alabama where they still work in the cotton fields right. to make money. That's right. I know this is not about me getting rich. This is about me doing God's work. And I don't always speak freely because I have a 501c3 nonprofit, mm -hmm. but I'm very clear about my divine assignment. Good. I'm very clear. My instructions are to keep this affordable and accessible for all. Okay. So that's why you're raising $10 million. So the $10 million is so that we can take the technology we developed in mice mm -hmm. and begin human trials. Mm. So we are not currently taking patients. Right. We actually have thousands of cancer patients that we're turning away because we haven't raised the money to start. Mm -hmm. And I have clinical partners in a variety of cancers, including prostate, breast, colorectal, anal, cervical, pancreatic, skin, head and neck, and brain cancers. These surgeons and oncologists are ready to start human trials in all those different cancer types as soon as we raise the money. Wow. And we need to go in just like the pharmaceutical industry would, yeah. and pay our bills. Good. We don't want them to own our technology because right. we're asking for charity from them. We need to come in officially. This is the clinical trial. Okay. Do the study. Show that it's safe for humans. Show that it works for humans. We're applying for FDA approval, applying for the approval mm -hmm. to go through the hospitals. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the goal is to get it covered by Medicaid, Medicare, and the insurance companies. Okay. My dream, my big dream, is to create the adult version of St. Jude. Awesome. Awesome. Let me, I love that vision, but now I need to give to this, okay? Yes. I'm ready to give right now. Yes. So what can I do? How, how do I give? So the best way is our website, auralee.org, O-R-A-L-E-E. -E Dot org. Okay. You can become a monthly donor. Any amount counts. Yeah. I had an interview with Roland Martin that's had more than 15 million views. Awesome. If I had one dollar from yeah. everybody who saw that interview, yeah. we would have had the 10 million we need to get started. Yeah. But people look at what I'm doing and they say, oh, somebody else right. will do it. Right. Ask the celebrities. Yeah. Well, I'm asking the everyday people. Come on. Because we need to know that this is for us, by us, and it's ours. It's not me. It's right. not mine. It's ours. And if we don't keep it independent, it won't benefit us, yeah. especially African Americans who are the most likely to die from cancer. Because we get diagnosed stage four. That's right. That's right. That's when chemo and radiation is most ineffective. Yeah. yeah. Chemo and radiation, just like some of the alternative medicines, they're most effective when you catch it early. Mm -hmm. But most of us don't catch it early. Mm -hmm. We do need to go to the doctor. We do need early detection and screening. We do need to make sure that when we get diagnosed early that we do the treatment. Well, what about those people they send home and say, there's nothing else we can do? Right. Those are the ones that I want to save. Yeah. God bless you. So orally.org. God bless you. No, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So listen, it's one thing to admire this phenom, this genius. It's another thing to say, I want to be a part of making history. Last month was Black History Month. I'm standing with a history maker. This is International Women's History Month, saluting our amazing black women, of course. And this is a history maker. I'm asking you, please, whatever you do right now, go to orally.org. Give your best gift. I'm challenging all of us. I'm going to give today. I'm going to give $1,000 today. I'm going to give $1,000 next month. And I'm just going to keep on doing that as long as I can until we get this million, $10 million. Please join me. Don't let me do this by myself. 
I'm going to go sell some chickens to make this happen. I'm, I'm uh, kidding, but seriously, I'm going to do all I can because you are a gift and a genius, okay? Yes, and Miss Alabama A&M. You go with your bad self. <laughs> want to share anything else with us? I just want to say thank you, Pastor Haynes. It means the world that you're standing with me. Oh, yeah. And that everyone who gives will be part of this history making and yeah. the progress. We are ushering in a new revolution of how mm -hmm. cancer is treated. We're on the brink of this revolution. And I can't do it by myself. Right. And God showed me it's not for me to do by myself. Because I might not be careful to give God the glory. So it's going to take all of mm -hmm. us to participate in yeah. bringing this forward so that people can see this is God's work. Yeah. This is not about me as an individual. This is about God's people bringing about good on the planet thank you. to reduce human suffering. Yeah. And I thank each and every person that supports and contributes so that we can do this together. We are orally. Yeah. Yes. We are orally. We are. Join the health care revolution. Yes. Healing is on the way. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.